All right, now we are done in the visualization of our first page. Now the next step is we will add our filters just above our visualization. So to do that, let's go to insert. We'll add a shape first, which will serve as the container of our filters. So um, let's remove the fill and also let's remove the weight of the line. Then in the background, we will select this color and let's have 5% uh, transparency. Great. And then we will add our slicer here. So let's say this is our slicer. Uh, maybe, yeah, this is right. And then in fields, let's have states instead as a way to filter. So that is in customer and then state state I create and then uh, instead of having a list here we will select drop down all right and then we'll format it so that it will look better based on the background that we have so let's have font color white but the background will be uh, yeah something like this but the background should be turned off there and then we'll add a simple text here that will tell that this is a filter so select state all right then the font color will be white and then let's add a simple text here a disclaimer text so this is just a disclaimer so this only means that all of the data sets and information that you see here are the main data only okay and then the next filter will be our months here all right and then um let's just put back this slicer header and then let's make it a list and then instead of the states we'll change it to uh months yeah uh so under month uh let's go under the date hierarchy then let's select month all right and then uh in the properties let's go to general and then the orientation should be on horizontal format so that it should look like this all right and then let's remove the slicer header after adding this filter we'll just add a simple image here all right this is an x button so that if ever we click this icon here it will show the filter however if we click this x icon then that will hide the filters here let's go to view and then select bookmark and selection so before that, let's group our filters and text and images here. All right now, after highlighting everything or selecting them, let's go to format and then group them. Okay, and then let's put our X mark at the top of our report. And then we will add our bookmark so to do that let's click add let's rename it to customer filter and we'll create one more bookmark so before we create the bookmark under selection pane we need to hide first the filters and also the X mark image or button there and then let's add bookmark and then rename then say this is customer hide filter something like that so the main purpose of this bookmark is actually telling power bi what is the information that we want to show if a certain button was clicked so if i click customer filter then the filter panel is visible however if i click 
the customer hide filter bookmarks then the panel is not visible then the next step is we will assign the bookmarks to each of our buttons and images so to do that select the image or button then go to action turn it on then in type select bookmark and under bookmark select customer filter All right then let's say the tooltip is um, show filters All right so the tooltip is when you hover on the image or any buttons you would be able to see a tooltip all right now if I click that okay now we have our visualizations and also we already have our filters so the next step is we want to duplicate this page so that we will have the same format of all images icons and visualizations so to do that you go to the tab and then right click and then select duplicate page and then you will have two copies of your page so we will rename this to product catalog and what we want to do next is we want to have the hover effect so to do that let's highlight all of them and then let's go to fill and then the default stage is at 80 percent all right same in our button text let's change the font color to this and then we will change the state to unhover and then when we hover these buttons we will have zero transparency however for our button in the active page what we want to do is uh, we'll go to fill and then remove that transparency and then for the button text it should always be white and we'll just repeat the process to our product catalog page so let's highlight all of the buttons here let's go to fill and then the default state is at 80 percent and then on hover it should be at zero transparency for the button text if the state is at the default then the font color is gray but if we hover it the font color is white alright and then for the button in active page which is product catalog all right. the fill should be at 0% and button text is white and then oops one more and then we'll move this triangle just in the middle of our just in the middle of our button okay and then we will add more action to these buttons so for example if I click customer history I should go back to that page so what I'll do is I'll select the button go to action and then the page navigation or rather select the page navigation destination is this page all right now if I click that button I should go back to customer history and then same with the product catalog I'll go to action the type is page navigation destination is product catalog so if I click product catalog I should go to the next page then if I click customer history then I will go to the first page so what you just need to do is to replicate and repeat the process that we have discussed and please don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and thanks for watching bye